today's lesson is over 77, which is sales tax and discount. So today we are going to be solving problems involving sales tax and discount. So, starting off here, we have vocabulary of sales tax, which of course we all know is that's a percentage of tax added on to a price. So to find a sales tax, we take our percent of tax, written as a decimal, and multiply that times the price to equal our total tax. We can then take our total tax, so what we have here goes down to the bottom, and we add it to our price to get our final total price. There's also discounts when things are on sale, like 20% off, 30% off. We do the exact same thing. We're taking our percent off as a discount and multiplying it times the price to find our total discount. From there, we take our total discount and take that away from our price because discount is subtracted from our price to find our final price or our sale price. So, our first example here is football. And we are going to slice this right down in half because there's two ways to do this. So, football. A football sells for $20. And the sales tax is 7.375%. What is the total cost of the football? And we need to round to the nearest hundredth, which is pennies. So, football sells for $20. So, first let's write down our sales tax of 7.375%. And that's going to be of our football cost of $20. Right. Sales tax times is tax times the price. So, 7.375 of 20 is going to become, this is going to become a decimal. So we have to move our decimal place 2 to the left. We're going to add a 0 because there's a blank. So now we have 0 0.07375 times, remember, of is always going to be times $20. So, typing that into our calculator here, we have 20 times 0 0.07375. That gets us $1.47.5. So now, that gave us 147.5. So here is our total sales tax. Next, we have to add that on to our price. So we are now adding $20 onto that. That's going to get us 21.475. Lastly, we need to round, and this 5 here is need, going to be to round up, because pennies are just hundredths, right? So 47 is now going to become 48, so we have 21.48. Another way to do this would be instead of finding the total tax first and adding that onto the product, would be to add the tax onto our 100%. Because 100% is going to be our total price, but we're adding on 7.375% of tax. So by adding those two together, we're going to get 107.375. Now, we're taking this number of the $20. So now we're taking our total percent of the price with the tax included. That's what 107 is. So this was the price, this was the tax. Now when we do that, we're going to switch this into a multiplication. However, this is still percent, so we have to move our decimal two to the left. So we have 1.07375 times 20. 1.07375 times 20. That gives us 21,475. So in this situation, by doing it this way, instead of adding the tax onto the price, we added the percentage on right off the bat, then we multiplied. So getting our total of 2147, again, 5 is going to rhyme up, so we're going to have 2148, so our total cost of the football with tax. Our next example is snowboard. Sally wants to buy a new snowboard that has a regular price of $210. This weekend, it is on sale at 30% discount. 
what is the sale price of a snowboard? Round to the nearest hundredth or penny again. So again, we're going to cut it in half. This time, keyword here is going to be discount and sale. That lets us know we are actually subtracting. A discount means we are saving. So, on our left here, we're looking at 30% of the $210. So then 30% becomes 0 0.3. Uh, becomes multiplication and two hundred and ten dollars is rewritten. So now when we do thirty percent of two hundred and ten, point three times two ten, and we end up with sixty three. So we have sixty three dollars of discount. So now I have to take our normal price and subtract the discount to equal our total sixty three minus two hundred and ten is going to get us at 147. And again, don't forget the label. These are word problems, so $147. The other way of doing it, again, would be using 100% and taking the discount off of the 100%. Since it's a discount, again, we are subtracting. So 100% minus 30% is going to give us 70%. So we're only paying 70% of the original cost of $210. So 0 0.7 times 210 will get us 147. So, use what method you prefer. Both are acceptable. On to number three. We have the video game. Frank wants to buy a new video game console that has a regular price of $275. This week, the console is on sale at a 15% discount. What is the sale price of the video game console? So, we have a 15% discount. So, we're doing 15% of 275. Changing this into decimal form and switching of into multiplication, we have 0.15 times $275. That'll get us using our calculator here, forty-one dollars and a quarter. So forty-one point two five. So then we're going to take our two hundred and seventy-five dollars and subtract the forty-one and a quarter to get. We're going to get two hundred thirty-three seventy-five. So two thirty-three seventy-five is our answer. Don't forget our dollar sign for our label. And that is, again, the finding the discount first and then subtracting that from the total price. Again, on this side, we're going to show you if we take 100% and take that 15% away, we're going to get 85%. So, turning 85%, we've got to write it out here first, 85% of the normal price of $275. Again, we're moving our decimal 2 to the left, so we're going to end up multiplying 0.85 times $275, and that'll get us, again, the same exact answer. We're going to get $233.75. And there's a proof there. $233.75. Same answer on each side. Next example here is we're actually going to be going backwards. So, j this one we're finding the original price. So they're saying jewelry. This necklace is on sale, and they're giving us a sale price of $99.99 after a 40% discount. So now we have two pieces of the puzzle, and again, there's two ways to solve this one. We're looking for the original price. So, first option is to set this up as a proportion. I'm um, having just finished that. One thing you do have to remember, since it's on a discount, we have to take 100% minus 40% to find that we're paying, we're looking for 100% is what we're looking for, but they gave us 60%, right? The discount after 40% is really, we're only paying 60% for that $99.99. So, setting it up as a proportion, we have 100 on bottom right, 
percent being 60 on the top top right on the bottom left usually we have of and is here we are looking for our of because we are looking for the original price I'll call that W or you could say P for price either way and they gave us our part which is the sale right sixty percent of the price is ninety nine ninety nine and that's why they are both on top so we always have to cross multiply and divide when we're using proportion this will give us 60W equals 99.99 or 9,999. Dividing both by 60, we've got 166 and 65 cents. So $166 and 65 cents is our answer. Now there is another way to do this one. Another way to do this one is, again, to set this up as a word problem. So, thinking about it, we have $99, 99 cents is, again, we already have to do 100% minus 40% to find out what our percentage is here. So, 60%. 99.99 .99 is 60% of what price? Because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the original price. So, setting this up now, translating it, we have 99.99 hundredth equals 60% is going to turn into a decimal of 0.6 times some P for price. Dividing both sides by 6 tenths, because we want just one single variable, or one single P, 99 and 99. So, 99.99 divided by 0.6 going to give us again 166 and 65 cents. Again with this method choose what you're most comfortable with but you have to remember you do need to rewrite that so you can see that we have our order right 99 99 is so that we have our equal sign after our sales price and then a percentage of the original. The last example here is one more example where we have something on sale. A bicycle is on sale at 30% off. If the sales price is $252, what is our original price? So line down the middle, setting up a proportion on the left here. First we have to take 100% and subtract 30 to find how much we're paying. We're paying 70% of the actual price. So. Setting this up, we have 70% on the top right, over 100, and on the left we have 252, and we're looking for, I'll put P for price on the bottom. Cross multiplying, we're going to get 70P, we want our variable first on the left, equals 25,200. Dividing both sides by 70, we're going to get on our calculator, we can actually cross off a zero from each one to make it simpler. And I got 2,520 divided by 7 is going to give us 360. So $360 is our answer. Again, using that other method of rephrasing it, we're going to put our sales price, $252, is 70% of what price? So setting what we just set up here as a word problem is going to give us equals 252 is going to be our dollars on the left, 70%, moving our decimal 2 to the left because percent to the decimal, whole and decimal shows we're going left to give us 7 tenths. And then lastly, of what price? So of means multiplication and P for price. Now we're dividing both sides by 7 tenths. We're going to get the same answer here as 252 divided by 7 tenths, and again we get 360. So P equals $360. If you run into any more questions, feel free to check out the peer tutors online, as well as the um, online tutors that show you the examples from other teachers.